Hi, it's the third trip to Sasan, Korea. In this video, I'll show you Kanwal Temple, which is a tiny island itself and well known for our beautiful sunset. Also, I'll show you the sea cave at Paduri Beach, which is one hour's drive from the temple and a hot spot for photos on SNS. It's Kanwal Temple overlooking from Hocking Lock. Almost the entire Kano Island is Kano Temple, so it can be reached only during low tide. And I'm lucky that I can reach it walking on the sea road. Kanwal Temple, which becomes a small island during high tide, and land during low tide is unique. And its views with sunset or the moon are so beautiful. It was built in the period of King Tajo of Joseon Dynasty by great monk Muha. And he named it Kanwal after he had attained enlightenment seeing the moon. It collapsed and Great Monk Mangong rebuilt it in 1914. The guards of the temple, which are Buddha statues carved from wood, and colorful lotus lanterns make the sea look so beautiful that it's where we rest and heal watching the sea. Before the seawater comes in and covers the road, I hurry to come out of the temple.
I moved to Padre Beach, which is one hour's driving from Tamar Temple. What's special is that see caves there or hop on SNS for taking photos. To reach the caves, it should be low tide, and there is an area of rough rocks to go up and down. This is the very famous sea cave where people wait in line to take photos on weekends. Though inside of the cave is not big, taking photos with the background of the blue sea look awesome. No one pays attention, but I was amazed at the pebbles in a variety of sizes and colors. The coffee shop of Coffee Interview on the other side of the sea caves is a good place to watch the sunset. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.